Hi everyone, it's Monday, September 14th already. I can hardly believe we're already halfway through the month of September. The month is getting away on us here. And uh, where I am in Manitoba, Canada, uh, it's still, you can see out my kitchen window there, the leaves on the trees are still green, but some are in some places in the city and the province are already beginning to turn color. Um, depending on where you live, if you're further south in the US, maybe, I don't know if you get the same change of seasons that we do where where the leaves turn all orange and red and yellow and pretty and stuff, but but that's what usually happens here. So that is coming. Uh, we being mid September, if the leaves haven't turned already, they will be soon. So and then they'll be all over the ground and it'll be a big mess trying to rake everything up. But anyway, all that to say, I can't believe that September is already halfway done. But the point of the video is I'm coming to you with a very small grocery haul. Uh, this is not exactly a grocery haul. I don't know if you could call it that if it's this small, but I just needed to order a few things and I ordered through the this is all through Real Canadian Superstore, and I got it through their PC Express pickup. Um, their $3 pickup fee was waived, so it was basically free to pick up. Um, only one of the items on this were actually on my points. The other things were all just things I just needed so or, or wanted. I tried. I like taking um, granola bars of various types to work, to snack on, or to have in my lunches. And I tried these last week, and they're good, so I decided to grab a couple boxes these uh, wafer bars, peanut butter chocolate flavor, um, and maybe now that I've bought a couple boxes, maybe they'll come up on my offers in future weeks at Superstore. We'll see. I bought a big bag of walnuts. Um, I needed, I was making this uh, pumpkin spice coffee cake recipe yesterday and it called for walnuts. Turns out I, I got a hold of a small bag just to, just to get the little bit that I needed in that recipe. But I know th our Thanksgiving is coming up in October and then Christmas, so there'll be Christmas baking and holiday baking coming. And I have some pecans already for various things, but I know there's certain recipes that call for walnuts. So I just got a big one kilogram bag. And again, the Superstore brand is either PC, President's Choice, or no name with the yellow packaging with the black bar. So I just got a one kilogram bag. That way there's lots to, to last me. Uh, what was on my offers this week that I did use were Ziploc freezer ba or Ziploc baggies anyway, whether they're sandwich baggies, freezer baggies, whatever, but Ziploc baggies. What I primarily needed was sandwich bags, although I do use the snack size in the freezer bags too. Um, for some reason or other, I, I ordered a 90 count of the sandwich bag and they were out, so they substituted a 66 count, which is okay. But it's funny that for whatever reason, they gave me this, this packaging that has superheroes, I guess, or something, or action figures on them, but whatever, it doesn't really matter as long as they're sandwich bags, I guess it's the, I guess it'll count. It, 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 as long as it does the job, that's the important thing. The snack baggies and then the freezer, the large freezer bags, I use when I lar buy large packages of ground beef. I divide them up into two or three portions and put them in the freezer bags and flatten them out. That way they freeze nice and compactly in the freezer. So I go through a lot of those freezer bags. Or if I buy large, buy large boxes of chicken breasts, then I divide them up into portions of four or five and freeze them in the freezer bags as well. So we, I use a lot of the large ones. Um, got a couple of zucchini. That I just have, uh, whether for zucchini muffins primarily, or there is a double chocolate zucchini loaf I've made a few times. That's a recipe I got off of another YouTube channel. I don't know what that is on the bag. It's just a stain, just a mark. Suck so from rubbing, I guess, against something. But anyway, so the zucchini, I use that in baking primarily. So I got a couple more of those because I do have a recipe that I got from a YouTuber that is a double chocolate zucchini loaf. And it calls for Greek yogurt as well, which I have in my fridge. And it will only be good for a few more days. So I thought I'll get the zucchini, make a couple more loaves, throw them in the freezer. Because then I could, that way that yogurt doesn't go to waste. But I needed a couple of zucchini to do it. Got a five pound bag of apples, uh, just, you know, it's fall, that time of year you start thinking about apple pie and apple crisp, and just, you know, we have parrots, as you could probably hear in the background, and they like fruit when it's chopped up too, so little bits of apple for them, or just for eating. And then also again with the no-name brand here, the yellow with the black packaging, or black bar on it, got a 20 pound bag of potatoes, um, don't usually go through a large bag of potatoes like that very fast, but because there's only three of us in the house, but the, and actually the last time we had a large bag, uh, some of them went bad towards the end because we didn't use them all up, but our Thanksgiving is next month. It's only our Thanksgiving is probably basically one month away. So with that and then Christmas coming right after that, two months later, there'll be a lot more potatoes used than we normally do. So, uh, you know, sometimes instead I would maybe buy a five or 10 pound bag so that we don't have them spoil. But knowing that Thanksgiving is right around the corner next month, and then Christmas not too far after that, 
using a 20 pound bag is not going to be as much of a stretch, especially if we happen to have any family over for Thanksgiving, then it's more than just the three of us. So, and it's, it's not just for Thanksgiving and Christmas too. I mean, you know, we do, I do peel potatoes and have them with other meals as well. But just knowing that there's that special occasion coming in a month, there will be more potatoes used than there are normally on a day-to-day -day basis around here. So that's basically it. Um, the only thing I got points on today, if I can find it on here, you can see Ziploc bags, I got 1,800 points. Uh, my total for today was, after tax, was 56.17. And you can see that uh, the, the pickup fee is waived, so that $3 fee was not on there. So yeah, with that, uh, I earned 1,800 points. My total was 56.17. I didn't redeem any points today. And so with the 1,800 points I earned, I am now at 197,249 PC optimum points. That means I am not quite. You you can redeem uh, between you can redeem in ten dollar increments in the store for um, groceries or at their gas bar. So that means that I am currently sitting at 190 dollars worth of points that I can redeem if I so choose. Um, and with being at 197, that means I'm almost at the $200 mark. So I can use them if I need to, but I'm trying to accumulate them to maybe use at Christmas or just save for something big. Um, but especially when you ha at Christmas, when you have to do a big shop, that's kind of what I'm trying to save them for. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, that is it for today. If you like this video, please feel so to subscribe and give this a thumbs up if you like, or leave a comment below. And we will see you next time. Have a great day, everyone.